In September 2017, Tom Petty had just finished the 40th anniversary tour with the Heartbreakers. Shortly after it ended, TMZ reported that the musician was found unconscious in his home in Malibu. He was immediately rushed to the hospital but remained unconscious. News sources said that he was on life support and in critical condition. He had a pulse, but according to the doctors who treated him, he no longer had brain activity. Petty was pulled off life support and died on October 2, 2017, at the age of 66. Petty had been suffering from a few health issues even before the tour started. As Rolling Stone reported, he had coronary artery disease and was on medication for emphysema, a hip fracture, and knee problems. Despite his condition, he insisted on performing and completed 53 tour dates before his death. Petty's wife and daughter said in a statement, On the day he died, he was informed his hip had graduated to a full-on break and it is our feeling that the pain was simply unbearable and was the cause for his overuse of medication. Tom Petty was open about his addiction to heroin. In a book titled Petty the Biography, author Warren Zanes shared how the musician started using the drug to cope after his divorce from his first wife. He attempted to quit, but it didn't work. In speaking about his battles with addiction, Petty told Zanes, It's an ugly thing. Months after his death, Autopsy and toxicology reports were released, and they showed that Petty's official cause of death was multi-system organ failure caused by drug intoxication. According to the Connecticut-based addiction treatment center Turnbridge, there were several drugs in his system at the time of his death, including fentanyl and oxycodone. Most of these drugs were legally prescribed for Petty's pain, anxiety, depression, and insomnia. His family addressed his cause of death, saying, Many people who overdose begin with a legitimate injury or simply do not understand the potency and deadly nature of these medications. If you or someone you know is struggling with addiction, please call the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Administration's 24-7 National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP.